Go or Rust? A question sleeping in the mind of some developers who are currently awake at 2 a.m. According to a JetBrains survey, Go and Rust are most adopted technologies in the last few years means companies are looking for memory safety and built-in concurrency. In addition, both languages have been in demand for the past few years and both languages have their own pleasure and pain. Like Go's garbage collector automatically manages memory, which is great for most apps, but can pause execution unpredictably. Think milliseconds of delay. In real-time systems like self-driving cars or air traffic control, those pauses could be disastrous. Rust skips the garbage collector, letting developers control memory manually with predictable performance. When Google has announced a Golang, it was without a garbage collector, but they have added a garbage collector for multiple threading. Garbage collector is the reason why developers who are moving from C or C++, like low-level languages, choose to go with Rust instead of Go. They used to manage memory by themselves. It does not mean Rust is a full package with low-level optimization or memory safety. Most developers who are working with Rust do complain about compile time, and it's obvious because it has to do static analysis to ensure safety and performance. Yes, there are options like Crane Lift Backend, which is an alternative for a default compiler backend of Rust. And this Crane Lift makes compilation faster, but currently it's on experimental stage and mainly speeds up the compilation of unoptimized debug build. And not only compilation time, but the learning curve is very big if we compare it with Golang because it has minimalist syntax and Golang is focused on clarity, while Rust makes it hard for beginners with concepts like ownership, lifetimes, borrowing rules, and so on. We have seen recent news about Microsoft changing TypeScript compiler language to Go because of its simple TypeScript-like syntax. And it is obvious because changing a very big code base takes a long time and using Rust will give a headache to developers at Microsoft. Now, let's assume you choose to go with one language. Then comes the important part, community. Language alone does not mean anything. Uh, libraries around the language and large frameworks are the deciding factors. Building everything from scratch in big projects is like planting a new tree for creating a ship. In the case of Golang, it has very large and structured standard libraries, and it's obvious that it will match the standards of Google. Rob Pike, Ken Thompson, Robert Griesemer are some of the names behind Go development. Rust is also a piece of art developed by Graydon Hoar, who was working at Mozilla back in 2010. While Go has the advantage in established libraries, Rust is rapidly gaining ground. In comparison, Rust is little behind in terms of standard libraries, but rate of new development indicates that Rust will overtake Go within four to five years from now. Also, Rust is not only a more admired language than Go, but it is the most admired programming language according to a Stack Overflow survey. The half in this list, Golang is at number five after Zig, Elixir, and TS. Lastly, let's talk numbers. According to a JetBrains survey, 1.7 million developers use Go as primary programming language, while there are 700,000 developers with Rust, but Stack Overflow Survey tells a different story. It shows very small differences between both the languages. I am not very sure whom to believe, but I am leaning towards SO Survey. Moving on to salaries, both stick around the same number. If you are into cloud services, DevOps, and microservices, you should go with Golang, for example. Docker or Kubernetes are primarily written in Go. And if you are in systems programming, embedded systems, or CLI-related development, then Rust it is. Rust has been adopted by Cloudflare, Meta, uh, Discord, and Dropbox, like big companies. Surprisingly, Dropbox also uses Golang in some part of their development, and other companies like Google, Uber, and Twitch um, use Go for large amounts of development. In conclusion, I can say currently Go has some advantage over Rust in some particular areas, but if Rust continues to grow at current rate, then it has great potential. Choose accordingly and go for, for what best addresses your needs.